mastitis is the topic and mastitis essentially is defined as inflammation of the breast and uh, this occurs approximately about 10 percent of all breastfeeding mothers and the, the problem is that when it does happen it can lead to the woman discontinuing uh, breastfeeding and this is worrisome because breastfeeding provides uh, an optimal level of infant nutrition so we don't want this to happen most common uh, time that mastitis can occur is about the second or third week uh, postpartum but it can happen pretty much any time during the uh, cycle of breastfeeding what is the uh, methodology involved well there's a few reasons why mastitis can happen the first is basically when the woman is breastfeeding her breast is not completely emptying the milk and this inadequate uh, milk removal from the breast is uh, one of the main causes of mastitis it can lead to uh, milk stasis so what is the solution well to prevent this from happening what you need to do is you need to optimize uh, the breastfeeding technique and this can be done with a lactation specialist but it's very important and um, the goal uh, when you do optimize or change the breastfeeding technique is that you're trying to uh, achieve complete emptying of the breast that way you don't get this uh, inadequate milk removal now another reason why you can have um, mastitis occur is when the infant is not able to latch on properly to the breast and that's known as a poor latch by the feeding infant and one other reason is that the milk ducts can sometimes become blocked that's a slightly different problem but very similar in its uh, uh, result now what happens is that essentially all this can lead with time to these small nipple cracks and these nipple cracks can cause pain and they can eventually serve as a port of entry for the bacteria and those bacteria will then contribute to the inflammation of the breast so what are the symptoms how will a woman present basically uh, the mastitis will present as a localized one-sided unilateral breast uh, pain breast tenderness and they will also be visible erythema she may also present with other symptoms such as fever body aches and um, malaise as well the treatment of mastitis involves giving antibiotics antibiotics ABX and which antibiotics well by far the most common uh, pathogen involved is staph aureus so you are going to use these antibiotics known as anti-staph anti-staphylococcus antibiotics now sometimes they talk about other types of antibiotics that are used known as methicillin resistant these have also been used and uh, sometimes this is referred to as penicillinase resistant antibiotics and then in addition to the antibiotics there's a something I touched on uh, before but it's important to uh, repeat is that you also need to improve the breastfeeding technique and this will help uh, a lot in making sure that the breast does indeed empty properly and also uh, it will help prevent milk stasis 
And one of the final important point about treatment is that encourage the woman to continue breastfeeding for a couple of reasons. First reason, of course, is you want to make sure that the infant gets proper nutrition that's provided by breastfeeding. And the second reason is that when you continue the breastfeeding, you continue to empty the breast. And uh, if you stop the breastfeeding, it would lead to milk stasis. So that's why you continue the breastfeeding. She, it's perfectly okay for her to take antibiotics and continue to breastfeed. Um, one final point is that if not treated properly, it can lead to a complication, and that is a breast abscess. And a breast abscess is important uh, because it can be quite troublesome, can cause more uh, pain and uh, symptomatology. So if this indeed is the case, it needs to be surgically drained. Either you can do a, a surgical drainage procedure or you can just uh, aspirate it, aspirate uh, with a needle. And then even with an abscess, the woman can uh, continue breastfeeding. So that's another important point to remember. So let's take a look now at a couple clinical vignettes and see what this looks like. 29-year-old woman is three weeks postpartum, comes to the clinic because of left breast pain, body aches, and fever. She had a normal vaginal delivery and an uneventful postpartum period. Four days ago, she started feeling feverish with diffuse body aches. She's concerned because she is breastfeeding her infant, and her left breast has also been tender for the past four days. She denies cough, sore throat, or rhinorrhea. Vital signs, temperature is 39, 102 Fahrenheit. Blood pressure is normal and pulse is 90. Breast exam reveals a moderately erythematous left breast with diffuse tenderness. Right breast is normal. The rest of the physical exam is normal. Most likely diagnosis is. Well, this is a classic clinical vignette of a nursing woman who most likely has these cracks and the traumatized nipple and bacteria have come in and caused this acute inflammation and um, classic for acute mastitis. And the final one, seven days after delivering a healthy full-term infant, a 27-year-old woman comes to the office because of fever, body aches, and intense right-sided breast pain just above the nipple. She is breastfeeding and says that it has been going pretty well until she developed this breast pain. Temperature is 39 Celsius or 103 Fahrenheit. Physical exam shows a 3 centimeter area of erythema and induration 4 centimeters above the right nipple. This area is warm to touch and has a brawny texture and is very tender. Her left breast is non-tender and appears unremarkable. The most appropriate next step is... So it looks like the answer choices are talking about treatment. So remember in mastitis, you want to give an antibiotic, most commonly anti-staph penicillin, it's also called methicillin. Uh, other antibiotics involved include methicillin-resistant antibiotics or penicillinase-resistant antibiotics. And then in addition to the antibiotics, you want to encourage her to continue uh, breastfeeding. Um, there's no harm to the baby, uh, even if she's on antibiotics. And also continuing the breastfeeding will allow her to continue to uh, empty her breast of the milk and prevent milk stasis. So which one of these answer choices prescribe antibiotic and advise her to stop breastfeeding? Well that's not true. Prescribe an antibiotic and encourage her to continue breastfeeding? That's true. And other, these other answer choices are obviously incorrect for the treatment of mastitis.